Now you're ready to create a document. To start, in the upper right corner, click Add Document. Once you've entered the necessary information into the mandatory fields, such as the document name, clients, recipients, and tax region, click Select Template to choose from the list of templates that are available. Upon clicking Create Document, you'll be redirected to the Document Builder window where you can review the content, add items to the quote block, and make any final changes before you send it to your customer or prospect. After you send your documents, you can use the tabs on the far right side to manage them. These tabs are for comments, recipients, activity, payments, and settings. Let's take a look at each one. Use the comments tab to manage and exchange messages or comments with your customer. By managing your customer and prospect communications here, you reduce countless follow-up, email, or phone messages saving you time and getting approvals faster. Next, in the Recipients tab, you can choose to add any of the users from your account or other link contacts from the client company. In the Signees section, you can rearrange the order of the signees where multiple signatures are required. Moving to the Activity tab, you can view the history of activities on a document from the time you created it until the sales process is completed whether one lost or expired. In the Payments tab, you can enable a payment gateway for a document and send the document with a pay and approve link. Finally, in the Settings tab, you can add an expiry date to your document if you have time sensitive prices or contract terms. You can set an auto email reminder to automate follow up emails reminding your customers to sign the document. And by enabling the security settings, you can add another layer of security where every time a recipient wants to view the documents, they must enter a one-time PIN number that all recipients will receive by email. If your administrator has set up approval rules, you'll have access to another section which is used to raise an approval request from the respective administrator or manager before you can send out the documents to your customers. The preview button in the top right corner can be used to view how the microsite looks on your customer's screen. By clicking on send document, you can choose to add an optional message to the preloaded email template. You can also preview the email add someone to the CC and BCC fields before you send the document to the recipients. The three dots or kebab menu you see in the right next to the send document button will allow you to access some additional options at document level. The options include share via link to send the document via link from your mailbox, download product list to download the list of all added products in the form of a CSV file, and also create and place a purchase order to create POs with your distributors.